Well, investors in Greece itself are certainly worried and no doubt sick to death of being worried since the debt crisis there has been dragging on for more than five years and is now approaching a climax. The Athens share market fell almost 5% last night and there was a negative tone to most other markets as well. The Athens market has seen double bubbles from which it's fallen 90% twice. And if Greece defaults on its debts now and exits the euro, then there'll be further toil and trouble in Greece, so to speak. Whether that leads to contagion and crisis elsewhere in Europe is the question, but it's not at all clear, especially with the firemen at the European Central Bank hosing the financial system with cash to put any fires out. In fact, the euro went up a bit today, leaving the Australian dollar slightly lower. Certainly there's no panic selling of any currency, except perhaps the Kiwi dollar, after the New Zealand Reserve Bank unexpectedly cut interest rates last week. There was a time when the Aussies seemed to be heading for parity with the Kiwi, just two months ago. Since then, it's appreciated more than 10%. Now, the big news on the local share market today was that the world's greatest investor, Warren Buffett, was buying a stake in insurance company IAG for $500 million. Investors piled into the stock today on the basis that if it's good enough for Buffett, well, it's good enough for them. Westpac shares jumped after the bank said it was selling part of its stake in BT Investment Management for $700 million, and other bank shares followed suit. But iron ore miners fell, following another fall in the iron ore price today, along with most other commodities. And finally, data on luxury car sales came out today, from which Comsec plucked this graph, sales of Porsche, Maserati and Lamborghini in Australia. Obviously, everything's fine. And that's finance.